Yo, what is good YouTube? I am Mike from Michael's J's and today we're going to be doing a review on yesterday's drop on the Jordan 9 Jim Red. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah. First, let's start off. If you guys are new to my channel, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. And if you can hit that subscribe button into the corner over there and beat that bell icon in the face because we are on the race for 1,000 subscribers, guys. Thank you very much. And let's get back into the video. So yesterday, Saturday, October 5th, Jordan Brand decided to bless us with the Jordan 9 Gym Red. And this colorway here is black, white, and red. You get your hits of red all the way around the side and patent leather to the back of your heel where you have a stitched 23. You do have a red sock liner, which this is the tongue that's connected, which goes into the shoe. You have your black and red Jordan on the front here saying Air Jordan. Again, predominantly white and red with your black hit there. To the bottom, you have your black jump man, and you have some insignias that are scribbled into the bottom, some Japanese writing and whatnot. Let's see if we can get that focused. There we go. And your black jump man again with the 23 in the background. This shoe was not worn on the courts by Michael Jordan as he was playing during his time in baseball with the Chicago White Sox. And that's where the Baron 45 nine came from, which has the 45 on the back. So that is where that colorway is from. This one is actually a sample from 2013 and they're actually bringing the samples out now. So this is where this colorway came from. I'm sure it would be pretty popular, obviously with Chicago, you know, Arizona Cardinals colorways, Atlanta, so anything like that, I'm sure this shoe will sell a lot. And I had absolutely zero problems getting it. I just walked up into Foot Locker and I asked for it and I got it. So they might sell out in certain areas, but I'm not quite sure how this will do, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people will enjoy it. So here's some close-ups of the sneaker. Again, this is all red patent leather here on the bottom, which comes all the way around your sneaker, and it does wrap to the back. Here is your stitched in 23. You do have a black pull tab. Again, like I said, this is a sock liner on the inside, so it might fit true to size, or you might wanna go a half size up due to that sock liner. But I'm sure most Jordan brand uh, sneakers are true to size. For me, at least, everybody is different. This is a sock liner, like I said. As you can see, it goes mm -hmm. all the way on the inside there. So you might want to be aware of that. So this pair here has a couple little defects on it. It does have some glue stains and just little things that I quite don't like. I really don't like how the midsole here red is a different red than the patent leather here. Can you guys see that? That is something to be aware of. As I said earlier, the Jordan 9 is not exactly a must-have sneaker that a lot of people want, especially since it was never worn in a game of basketball ever. So um, for me, am I going to keep this? I don't know, what do you guys think? Maybe drop a comment on below and let me know if I should keep it or not. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to, so I'm probably not going to do an on feet because I don't want to ruin the integrity and DS of the sneaker. I'm not sure. Like I said, if you guys think that I should keep this, drop a comment below, let me know. But uh, I'm kind of on the fence, especially with uh, some of the glue stains like... This one here's got a thread hanging somewhere, right here. See this thread? Yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't know. You guys let me know. What do you think? Are these hot or are they not? Should I drop 
or just, uh, you know, I don't know, let me know. Yeah, just, you know, as more of I look at the sneaker here, the, the amount of glue staining that this thing has, I don't know, maybe you guys might want to check your pairs when you get them because especially around the, the peaks here, it's just, I don't know. Maybe that's just my pair, but these don't look like they were put together very well. So I don't know, maybe it's because it's, you know, a Jordan 9 and they don't care about it. And they think if they just slap red, white and black on it, that it's going to sell. And that's a possibility. I mean, I don't know. It is what it is, but uh, I'm not too much really a fan of the Jordan 9 myself anyway. So, but um, yeah, I don't know. I'm probably going to give it back, but I wanted to get it for you guys for the review. Let you know what I thought about this Jordan 9 Jim Red. And uh, no on feet because I'm probably going to give it back um, and just save my money for next week when I try to get those Travis Scotts or those 3.0 Shatter Backboards. So to me, those sneakers are, you know, priority over this. So this was just going to be a quick review, like I said, on this sneaker. And if you guys enjoy it, here it is little close-ups of it. I'll get some b-roll going in the background, do um, some close-ups of it, and we'll end off the video like that. So I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. I'm Mike from Michael's J's, and this was a quick review on yesterday's Jordan Drop. Drip it, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Feels like I don't have no flaws. Snakes in the grass, cut those off. Yo, squad shady, my bros rock. No breaks, we go, 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 go. Don't shade, that's a no, no, no. Go high, go low, low, low. Like spinning in a 644. Cash money like 504. Ball like AD24. No sleep, me, mo, mo, mo. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Fit it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the back, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I'm a real one, my day one. Try speak up, can't say none. Try dig dirt, there ain't none. I make the money that save up. 10 to 80, my save ones. Take to the top on the base one. New car, race on. Fast lane, pace on. With the boo, y'all, that's a flex. Now I'm human, I ain't from another planet. I'ma teleport, might vanish. I'ma wake up. Join number seven, he's bored though. Working all night, need more though. I remember nights I was poor though. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up.